My name is Travis Wade. I'm the Corey Manager for the San Antonio Spurs. This is my second full year. I was a ball boy before this for about four years in college. We're here today to look at all the sneakers, uh, just to see what different guys are wearing and um, the evolution of how it's done and how it's created from a marketing standpoint. So you guys play OKC tonight, seven o'clock nationally televised game. So we're gonna get a day in the life of you. Exactly, that's right. So whenever y'all are ready, here we go. Let's check it out. We have uh, six jerseys this year as opposed to our original two in years past. We have our home whites and our blacks. We also have Pride Night uniforms and then we play on Christmas Day. And then obviously last year we just created the alternative jersey, the gray jersey. So with that being said, uh, you got the different color shoes coming to life with the jerseys. So. For tonight's national TV game, it's our uh, white jerseys, so we got our white shoes. With Tim, we got his traditional white shoes. Um, typically for him, he's got two different pairs, uh, two different models a year. He's actually enjoying these quite a bit, so I'm very interested to see what Adidas is going to come up with You know, towards the end of his career. You have uh, different type of color schemes for the different jerseys that we have. Traditional blacks right here, our military jersey, those are the shoes that will go with that, and then our alternative silvers. And then with Christmas Day, we had him wear these shoes, but I put in some green laces and uh, some candy cane socks to go with it. Patty Mills, he's going with the KDs. Uh, so he has this in only white and black that he just Nike ID'd. Marco Bellinelli, every now and then he'll Nike ID, but for the most part, we'll just get some basic white shoes. These are uh, game worn um, for about, I want to say it was about 12 games he wore these. So I will take his shoes everywhere with me. We're going on the road to Atlanta tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to, you know, take, take the exact same pair that he played tonight with and everywhere, whether it's practice or shoot around. And everyone else, for the most part, um, like Tim, for instance, those shoes stay here, you know, and then when we go on the road, he's got different shoes with diff different orthotics. So. Tony Parker, same thing. Uh, now that he's on with Peak, Team Peak is what I call it. Great company to work with. You got your signature as well as his number on it. On the bottoms, you have a uh, little detail work, Go Spurs Go with a number nine. I know he just uh, signed with them maybe a year ago. So how is the transition from switching brands for you? It's not too much, uh, too, too big of a deal uh, from where I stand. I just give his new rep a call with Peak and just say, hey, what are we working with? What what are the option dates? Like, what, what do you have to offer? I just like to kind of spice it up and for every jersey, we'll have a different custom look to it. So Boris, he's wearing last year's shoe. It's the Hyper Aggressor. He just likes to feel this as opposed to this year's models that Nike had arranged. Um, Y'all may be wondering what this shoe is and uh, if you look back in last year, it was uh, it had a little bit of orange in it, which you can see on the inside of the shoe. Um, but this was the Black History Month shoe. After the month, he liked them so much last year that he wanted to wear them with our silver jerseys, right? So I literally just got a silver Sharpie and it's starting to wear on it, on it a bit, but I just blacked off or silvered off uh, the Black History Month logo which was bright orange. And then also the ring, I just sharpied that through. This is the Matt Bonner's uh, New Balance. He doesn't have a sponsorship with New Balance. Uh, that's, that is one thing that a lot of fans, I think, uh, thought at one time. He's just had these shoes for years. He's about to sign a contract here shortly. I don't know if he has yet, but Adidas has sent us these shoes as, as well as a lot of different models. Um, he, he likes this because of the material. The padding on the inside, um, it's just a very hard, faithful shoe to him and it won't tear apart. It should be interesting, but uh, he was practicing with that as well as the mask. <laughs> so he's got a different look going on right now, but uh, we're liking it. It's, uh, you know, the Red Mamba stepping up, so. With uh, Manu, he likes a heavier shoe, similar to Matt. Um, that's why he went with this route. That leather, you know, when he stops real hard on the court, he wants that durability. He was wearing LeBron's last year, and uh, the only reason is because of the air bubble. It was popping quite a bit. And literally, he's going back in his in his box at his house from back in 09. So these are the Hyperfuses for Danny Green. 
Um, this is what they look like right here. And they have this new, I call it a shark fin on the back. It's just rubber, you know, it's very, it's not like it's a, a metal object or anything sticking out of it. Danny, he's been cutting his off. Just uh, originally was the look of it. It was just kind of a new thing. Um, we're a very traditional team and you know, there's not too many players, including Danny, that really like just something that's just above and beyond that he's never seen before. Um, but just the other day, he was just saying that he does like the look now. So we're gonna make that approach. Now, how different is the preparation from a home game to a road game? Well, um, for a home game, you know, I have not necessarily unlimited shoes, but I definitely have, let's say we have two blowouts in one game. Uh, when I say a blowout, you know, if you have aired up shoes in the back or um, basically right here, the bubble is what, what I call it. This is Boris Dial's shoe, the Nike Air Bubble. If that pops, then, you know, obviously it's a flat tire. And so the guys, they're gonna wanna change their shoe. If we're on a three game road trip coming up, uh, we'll be in Atlanta and let's say someone blows a tire, uh, then I'm gonna have to call one of my guys, one of the interns in San Antonio and get one of our new pairs shipped to me, to Miami the next day. When it comes to packing, we just have two shoe bags. Um, with all their, we're gonna be on the road wearing uh, black this, uh, this coming game coming up. Um, and then the next day we'll be wearing silver in Miami. So every player has two, Tim has three uh, shoes. And that's, that's just how we do it. Kawhi loves this shoe. He, um, he's a big supporter of it. Once you sign Jordan, I mean, you, you never go anywhere else. With him, I've received quantities that I just can't even keep up with. Sometimes you get to choose what they wear on court. You have to say so in it instead of them sometimes. And, and with that being said, it's only to a certain extent. I mean, let's, I'm not gonna fool you here and say, oh yeah, yeah, Tony, you gotta wear this. No, um, with a few of the guys every now and then, I'll just say, hey, black's probably a better color on you than silver. If we're wearing silver jerseys or military or whatever it could be. But uh, I, to a certain extent, I would say that I do have somewhat of a say. I'm gonna show you uh, the shoe lockers, uh, so where we have all the backup shoes for the guys. Let's just open up Kawhi's locker and see what, see what we got inside of here. Kawhi, he's got a lot of just different types of uh, shoes in here. Um, these are the white ones that he hasn't worn yet. And then also, if he wants to go into a different look, we have Jordan Prime Flies as well as the um, super flies and old school Nikes that he was wearing back in the playoffs when he was a Nike guy. I sharpie that, Let's, yeah, yeah. as well as the 23 in the back. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the, the rule is 90% uh, team colors, so silver, black, and uh, white for us. Let's see what Matt Bonner has to offer. Uh, and we got some shower shoes from Matt, the Adidas, right? I didn't find any shower shoes in New Balance, so I had to go with Adidas, but but these are his uh, backup backups. Now talk to me about the backup, 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 backup ones. The ones that he blew out. That's right. Those are, uh, those are no, no longer here. We, uh, I boxed them up and gave them to CR, uh, community relations that is. We have Danny Green over here. He really just sticks to the Nike shoe and that's what we truly want to make these guys do with. It's all under the same umbrella, but if you're a Nike guy, you want to stay with Nike. Well, I know we have to get out of here because you got to prepare for a game, but right. since you're about to prepare for a game, what are the idiosyncrasies for some of the players? Like, what do they have to have before the game begins? Oh gosh, it's cool to see like different, um, you know, different things that Tim does uh, when it comes to hopping in the hot tub at a certain time, and then uh, getting taped and going out to the court, and then you know he has his hot packs at a certain certain time, and every now and then I'll forget his socks, and then you know he'll scream at me right after the meeting and. And so I, you don't want to break up that ritual. But um, another funny thing is um, Tim has a Gatorade before the game and, and uh, our strength coach writes a uh, funny quote, like a fun fact or something. Um, and so you'll see Tim doing his little pre-workout and right before the game's about to start and he's, he's just reading the bottle and he's just kind of smirking in the background. You know, it's pretty funny because it's like that daily. I got some shoe boxes I want to show piled up. So back here I got all types of shoes from years past from size 11s to 
size 19s. So if we do get some random, some random guy gets on our team and I don't have time to order something, an overnight shipment, if you will, then I'll go ahead and um, grab one of these bad boys. But at the facility, we definitely have eight times as much. Travis, day two. Day two, that's right. All right, so we're in the official locker room for day one. That's right. Yeah. What's going on today? Where are we at? Well, we're here at the practice facility. This is where, you know, we're, I'm here every day as opposed to the arena just on game days. So I just wanted to show you all what I have, which is a ton of inventory right now. Um, anything from all the players' extra shoes, backup shoes of all the colors. Uh, and all their different models to uh, draft, mini camp, when we have Vegas, Summer League. I got all the extra stuff here as well. All right, so this is your main office. This is the main office. This is the legitimate office, so. Let's check it out. Here we go. So here in the practice facility, I got uh, all, every single one of these cabinets is stocked with shoes, shower shoes, backup shoes, anything that I need just for a player if we, if we sign a 10-day contract guy or if we get any type of um, guy for summer league that we need right away before I place an order for him. And this is probably, I'd say this is not even, what do you say, 40%? <laughs> it's a little messy today. We're actually doing a little bit of inventory tomorrow. So y'all came on a good day to see everything. But in here I got anything from his Grammy shoes. He was obviously injured, so he couldn't wear those to his MLK shoes, all of his different color shoes. We got it all back here. Most players, whether it's Tim, Tony, Manu, they'll have anything to 20 pairs of shoes in their locker. So with that being said, I have a separate place where I, I keep another 30 shoes. As you can see, Tony over there, you got his potential all-star shoes and his extras. They've take care of him so much. Grant was actually here today. He's uh, Tony's rep with Peak. And basically, we ran into a slight issue. Uh, Tony with his airspace in his shoe, he wants it, he wants the top of the, the shoe to be closer to his, uh, the top of his foot. Um, so there's not as much airspace. So they're, they're working on that and making it custom. He's also got his, um, all-star shoes. If he's selected, you know, Peaks are, are already on top of their game when it comes to, you know, making the all-star shoes. So the color scheme this year is purple and red for the West, and I believe it's green and blue for the East, but they already have the shoes in both colors for them. You'll see all the video coordinator, all the interns, they're all running around in Team Peak now, you know. Um, so Tony, that's his one thing is just taking care of the whole team. How often are alterations done on shoes throughout a season? Uh, it's, it's not much. There's a few guys every now and then. Tim, with uh, he wanted longer shoelaces. He likes to knot up his shoelaces. Um, if you ever see it in a game, uh, quite, quite a bit. It looks like there's eight knots on his, on his shoelaces. So that's one thing where I had to, had to bring in more shoelaces with Zach and Adidas, and they would just send me longer shoelaces. That's right, yeah. We, we had Malcolm for a 10-day contract. I had about 20 pairs of Under Armour um, from Chris Stone up there in New York. And I mean, after the 10-day deal, he, was, he got a deal with uh, Utah Jazz. So I just literally sent everything to Brian Zettler up to Utah that I have for him, so. And talk about how you guys are all in a, kind of a cahoots with each other. Like the person that does the job that you do in Utah, um, Saint in OKC. Right. Uh, how are you guys just all connected? Just by seeing them on a, you know, it's, it's odd to say it, but I talk to about six of the equipment guys on a daily basis, just for anything, questions, concerns, because this is my second year. Um, you know, I'm not as wise and old as, as the other guys, but uh, that's basically what I do is just call them for advice, wh whether it's shoes or just inventory, stuff that they do on it as well. I see some of these guys maybe once a year, Zach in Atlanta maybe twice, um, or I'll see them, you know, four times a year. And in Miami Heat, I was, <laughs> we had preseason in Miami, regular season here and there, and then we're in the NBA Finals, so together. So I, I saw him quite a bit. So we all, you know, we got a close knit group of guys out there. So back here, I have my um, just extra shoe collection of everything. 
Anything from Kawhi Leonard and his Jordans. He's got all of his color schemes up here. I just cannot fit it all in his lockers. Literally 30 pairs of shoes back here for TP. All I'm trying to say is there's shoes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Travis. We gotta get out your hair now, man. I know, I, I, that's right, I gotta pack. So I, I need you to get out of here. <laughs> okay, before we get out of here, I need to know one word that describes all of these players in regards to sneakers. Okay. You up for that? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm a pick a player and you, you tell me what describes them. Kawhi Leonard. Blessed. Jordan Brand. I mean, that's, that's a, when you sign Jordan, you know, you're never going back and he's blessed for having, you know, you get a ton of shoes with Jordan Brand in every color. Tim Duncan. I would say uh, dependable would be my word. Uh, you know, Adidas always has taken care of him and, you know, just always dependable on everything I need. Ginobili. Hard. He, uh, he is hard on a pair of shoes, you know, coming off of picks and the way he plants his foot, he will just rip a pair of shoes. Tony Parker. Flashy. I would say flashy because because he's got it all, you know, Peaks taking care of him and any color and look and, you know, beyond just basketball, you know, he's got it all. All right, last but not least, Matt Bonner. Finally, finally, Matt Bonner, finally, you got a pair of shoes, the Crazy Eights that you can rely on, you know, you signed a deal with Adidas and it just, finally for me, it's just, just meant to be, you know. Whatever the road was with Converse, back in the Converse days, to New Balance, and, and you know, Adidas is finally take, you know, they're taking care of you. So you finally picked a pair and you got it. We're done, we're good now, so we can finally just go to the NBA Finals again. <laughs> so we're good. You don't have to retire yet, Matt.